power outages and rationing of food and water hit several locations all over Singapore, but it was all a simulation, marking the start of an exercise to better prepare people in the event of disruptions to daily life. It was also part of activities to mark 40 years of total defence. Chloe Chu with this report. Recess is a little different at Cedar Girls Secondary School today. There's no food in a canteen, and students had to make do with these pre-packed meals. It's a glimpse of what life could be like if Singapore was short on food supplies. These girls also learned what happens behind the scenes to import different ingredients. It taught me to appreciate the abundant resources that we already have. We actually learned how to appreciate the, our constant supply of food even more. The government actually puts in a lot of effort to diversify our food sources. There were similar disruptions over at the Central Business District. From a loss of power that shuts down escalators at Esplanade MRT Station, to companies where employees had no access to equipment and water. Okay. One also tested its employees' readiness to cyber threats. If our own employees don't have that sort of resilience, it's very hard for us to deliver effectively for our clients and for our business partners. The exercise aims to simulate different crises to test how ready people are during an emergency. Defence Minister Ng Eng Hen says it's even more important to do so now amid a volatile global landscape. It's a very small slice that tests the various pillars of our total defence. We know that it will never be like the real threat, but a reminder of what can happen to disrupt our way of life if total defence fails. And a country's resilience and strength come from its citizens. But the most critical factor in upholding our security is the determination and will of our people. In the end, all of us have a part to play to defend Singapore. The government is taking the lead on this. Those working at the Environment Building had no access to water for two hours. They were given water rations in bags like this. Through the water disruption exercise, we also realised uh, how uh, important uh, water is to us, whether for drinking or sanitation. So it reminds us of our role in the public service and also the importance of it uh, to ensure that our Singaporeans are well taken care of. Over the next two weeks, more than 500 organisations like schools and offices will disrupt their power, water and food supplies or digital connectivity.